Pet products are a $61 billion business. We dress our pets, put them in spas, give them playdates. Yet when Ronnie DeLulo created protective goggles for dogs nearly 20 years ago and called them doggles, she was mocked at her first pet expo. And people are just walking by and they're pointing and they're laughing and we're like, oh. Thousands of doggles and millions of dollars later. What are you doing? It's DeLulo who's laughing over <laughs> her strange success. The idea for doggles was a walk in the park. I originally came up with the idea for my border collie, Midnight. He loved to catch a frisbee. And by the time I got home from work, the sun would be setting and the sun was really bright in your eyes and I was wearing sunglasses. So there was one day in particular where he missed the frisbee and he never, never missed the frisbee. I just thought, well, why can't he wear sunglasses too? DeLulo spent months trying to find a solution. I tried human sunglasses, I tried swim goggles, I tried ski goggles, and nothing would really fit on a dog's face because the dog has the big nose and different shaped head and the ears are in a different location. Ronnie DeLulo was working as a computer programmer for Hewlett Packard, so she used those skills to design her first pair of doggles, pouring in $25,000 of her own money. I had just had my first child, and I was taking a leave of absence from software engineering. And I really loved to dress up my dog. It was just fun. And I hadn't really thought of it as this is this product. I'm going to sell a ton of this product. It really was for fun. But once I did it, then I realized that, oh, there's really a market for this. She created a website, started selling a few homemade doggles, and then sent a pair to PetSmart. And a couple weeks later, I got mail, an actual letter back, saying that they took the product in all of their stores. <laughs> that was really, oh no, now I gotta figure out how to really manufacture these. PetSmart wanted thousands of doggles. DeLulo quickly found a manufacturer. First year sales hit $100,000. <laughs> oh, I know, I love you. Last year, sales hit three million, and doggles isn't just about goggles anymore. We make harnesses, dresses, life jackets, backpacks. Her customer base has expanded to veterinarian ophthalmologists and police canine units, but Ronnie DeLulo's brain never stops coming up with new ideas. Remember the old school zinc on your nose, the colored zinc? Yeah. I want to do that for dogs. Your dream I need is a to chemist. have that, <laughs> is to have like that hot pink nose. Yes. <laughs> well, we all have to have a dream. Yeah. <laughs> I've always loved dogs and I've always loved to dress up dogs, so I don't think anyone was a bit surprised that this is what I did. <laughs> Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.